Did you ever wonder what happens to your private documents after a mobile American shredding truck comes and grinds them up at your location? Let's follow a truck as it returns to our secure facility in Salt Lake City. The truck backs into a restricted area. All of our personnel have passed background screenings and that area is only accessible to those people. It's also watched by video cameras 24-7. The driver tips the paper inside the tented area and empties a load of shredded paper from all the locations the truck visited today. A cat mixes and mixes the paper and pushes it towards a series of conveyors and crosscut shredders. Now all of this paper has already been shredded to something less than five-eighths of an inch and that is the standard set by the National Association for Information Destruction, also called NAID. Before the shredded paper reaches the next shredder, we mix in other material. Locked bins full of paper also flow into this area, ensuring that no confidential information escapes our domain. What's unique about American shredding is that other materials get mixed into this stream of shredded paper, and all of that is shredded together again and again. And then all those tiny pieces, they get smaller and smaller, and then they, they flow into the air conveyor system all the way across the plant. where it's baled by this horizontal baler. A very green way to ship these bales to a paper mill is via railroad. There's a rail spur adjacent to our facility and the door of our plant opens right into the rail car. The bales each weigh about 2,600 pounds. All of this happens before the end of the day. These bins have been emptied, their paper has been shredded, and now they're being prepared to go out to another customer. Just thought you might want to know.